Good morning. Welcome back to GNH Honeybees. It's been uh, a little over a month since I put out a bee video because the uh, the girls have been out at Jordan River in the fireweed area making some really fine honey for us. And uh, we've ended up about 350 pounds of honey, which is uh, way more than I expected. Uh, so anyway, They've been home for two days, I've let them orient, and I want to start doing uh, fall inspections on these girls, because it's uh, today's the 31st of August, and uh, as you can see I've got the seams all taped up on the boxes uh, to help prevent them from smelling honey from each other's uh, hives. And I've just closed the entrances on these two just to help prevent swarming because I'm going to take this one apart. This is hive one. I'm going to take it apart. And there's more than likely going to be honey broken open in between the frames. And uh, I don't want a big robbing issue started. So uh, I'm going to get my suit on, get the smoker lit, and let's get into this and see what we have. All right, back in a moment. All right, got all the tape off, and uh, just to show you a couple of things, in the uh, inner cover, I've got a crossbar put in here. It does two things: it keeps the lids on the feeder dishes, <clears throat> and when I have uh, two ratchet straps wrapped around here for transportation, it prevents the sides from being pulled in and collapsing. So, first things first, we gotta zip that out of there. Just leave that in there. And I don't know what they've done to these over the summer, but let's have a look. Well, they're still clear. That's good. I'll have to be cleaned out, but let's get the hive tool going. So this upper box was um, the last honey super that I left on there. And it looks like they've probably filled these center frames again just in the last week. But uh, I'm not going to deal with that right at the moment. Get you over here a little closer. So let's see what they've got for winter stores. a nice frame of winter honey. winter honey. Let me take one of them frames up and put it in the top box. That's all winter honey. Wow, they honey bound this. <clears throat> That's all winter honey. Honey. 
this whole box is honey. Um, so, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out four of these frames, shake the bees off of them. I'm going to replace them with empty frames so that the queen has some place to lay in here. full of fresh eggs. And there's eggs on this side too. So she's laying here. That's really good. Got fresh eggs, brand new hatched uh, baby bees. Same. Lots of brood. I'm going through this quick. Word. More brood. Let's see if we can get the bottom. Let's find it. That's all fresh grubs in there. Okay. I stopped now, so she's probably not allowed to. I do want to say clean, just make sure you make sure you come from the bushman There she is. Climbing towards the top of the frame there. Nice big queen. And 
She looks like she's okay. Get more places to put eggs. Alright, so I can put them back together. Let's get her back in there gently. It is literally, and the yellow jackets are just stupid right now. So I'm going to get this rain and put it in here. So anyway, I've got them back together. I had to take the top two boxes off again quick and put a Formic Pro pad in there um, and might strips. And then I put them back together, put the tape back on the seams. Had a little bit of uh, bees clustering up at the vent, so I closed the vent and got my smoker and smoked them away. Uh, didn't seem to take off into full-fledged robbing or anything. I've since uh, opened the entrances on the other two colonies they all seem to be pretty calm so uh, everything's good uh, the queen is good and healthy she made it back from the bush okay there's lots of room for the queen to lay uh, lots of honey in there for winter lots of bee bread and uh, yeah they're in good shape actually in great shape so we'll be back tomorrow with a video on hive 2 all right see you then